where we look at these spectacular, dramatic views, you know, th this sort of sense of wildness and openness, that openness is an indicator of an ecosystem that's in really poor health. You know, many people aren't aware that um, the UK is, is a rainforest nation, but the fragments of woodland that we have left are tiny compared to, to what the, you know, the area they used to occupy. There's just a whole host of reasons that have contributed to a decline in the wildlife and the biodiversity of this landscape. It's a result largely of damaging post-war financial incentives that were introduced that led to the drainage of peat bogs, and the removal of lots of trees and hedgerows, an increase in the number of sheep upon the fell tops. Rivers have been straightened for draining the fields to improve them for agriculture. Here at Wild Horsewater, the RSPB are working in partnership with United Utilities, the landowner who owns the site, and our work is about showing how nature conservation and farming can work hand in hand to deliver benefits for wildlife, but also for water and people too. This type of approach and we talk We run monthly open days for people attending in a professional capacity, so people coming from the water sector, the farming sector, the conservation sector, to find out more about the work that we do here. And then because of the weather, I've had to split the group of sheep. The RSPB has tenancy over two farms, and that's where our nature-friendly farming operation is based. So our work is all about showing how farming and conservation can work hand in hand. I guess what we're doing here is, is because we're looking at the research and the science, it's just to take snippets. It might not work on your farm, yeah. but you can see what we're doing here as evidence and you may be able to implement something on your farm that might help nature and wildlife. We've also embarked on a huge tree planting programme. So about 200,000 trees have been planted and there's a lot more to come. We've restored about 200 hectares of peat bog so that's been about blocking up the historic drainage dishes to hold the water back in the peat bogs. What happens when you re-wet a peat bog and it's functioning as a proper ecosystem is that it's a huge capture of carbon, it absorbs carbon out of the atmosphere. What's happened to a lot of the UK's peat bogs is they've been drained and when you drain them they actually release carbon but it also slows down the flow of water from the fell tops which reduces the flood risk, improves the habitat's resilience to fire and drought and also massively improves the biodiversity. We put the natural bends and processes back into Swindale Bet, which increases biodiversity in the river but also slows down the flow of the water through the landscape which improves drinking water quality and also reduces the risk of downstream flooding. Within three months of that work completing, salmon return to spawn in that section of the river for the first time in over 150 years. And when you work in nature conservation, you don't see that level of instantaneous success very often. So it was a huge, huge achievement.